and the headline fixture for tonight sees the Super Eagles of Nigeria taking on the Desert Foxes of Algeria. Now, we'll be focusing on the game between Nigeria and Algeria, and joining me all the way from Kantangora in Niger State to preview the game tonight is the Flying Eagles media officer, Andrew Randa. Good morning, Andrew. Hello, good morning. Thank you for having me on the show. It's a great day today. Yes, definitely. It's a great day. And it's always a pleasure having you on the show. And now, taking a look at tonight's game, you know, Gennett Rosman go into this fixture ranked as one of the top 30 teams in the world for the first time since 2013. Also, the Super Eagles are ranked the third best team in Africa at the moment. What should the fans expect in tonight's fixture? Um, for me, I'm really happy that international football is back and the Super Eagles are actually back on the pitch of play. It's been a long time coming, almost nine months since the last game against Benin. Uh, for me, I hope to see a transition from um, our third place placing at, uh, you know, at the Nations Cup in Egypt. I expect to see a much more uh, better Super Eagles, better play. Um, you know, just overall, generally, I just hope to see a very good game, a bit of an improvement uh, from what we saw at the Nations Cup, you know, so... Uh, yesterday, I was opportune to be part of a panel that uh, sat with at the virtual press conference uh, with Gennard Rowe, and we asked him a few questions. And he said um, he's also looking forward to see a good game, Crips passing, uh, playing out from the wings, like getting the crosses in. So I actually do expect the same from the team today. I just want to sit down and enjoy some beautiful football. All right. Now, you know, it's, it's good that you said you want to see an improvement from the nation squad, squad and also the fact that you said you want to see crisp passing and playing out through the wings. You know, we have notable absences from the squad, talking about the likes of Wilfred Ndidi, Ogunekara Etebo, and Joe Aribo. How then will this new crop of players fit into the squad, especially the new midfielders? You know, for me, it's, uh, you know, unfortunately, like you rightly said, Ndidi, Etebo, Uzo, and a few other guys, about five or six regulars will not be in. But I'm really excited for the new guys that have come in. Frank Onyeka, for me, from Mitchell and Denmark, a uh, brilliant player. I've always wanted to see him on the Super Eagles. Now is the time for him to stand up and be counted. Apollo uh, Noachu, a fringe player. This is the time. Cyril Dessas, uh, Matthew Yakubu, the goalkeeper. Uh, you know, so there's a whole lot of players coming in and hoping to make a first impression. Uh, there's Kevin Apoguna from uh, TSG Offenheim in the Bundesliga too. So it's, 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 it's a great opportunity for these guys to show that they're not just there to make up the numbers. They are there to represent Nigeria ably and to stake a claim for a starting bet in the team. It's really, really nice when you have multiple options in multiple positions on the pitch of play. So for me, it's an exciting thing. I already know what Etebo and Indidi can do, but I'm really looking forward to seeing what Frank Onyeka, uh, Cyril Dessas, Kevin Opoguna, Matthew Yakubu, um, and a few other guys have come in. I'm excited to see what they can do. So it will give Raw... Uh, you know, a selection headache. And he told us yesterday, he actually loves a selection headache. So for me, the more the merrier, and I'm super excited to see how some of these guys will actually start their Super Eagles careers. Now, friendly games are actually good for you to be able to test other players in certain positions to see how uh, they can conform Maybe to that. So it's, it's to a come. good thing for me. Um, I'm not looking forward to a win-win or must-win situation. I just want to see how some of these guys will adapt to the Super Eagles and adapt uh, you know, to, to the game itself at international stage. All right, now I'm going to pick on two names that you did mention, talking about the likes of Cyril Dezas and Kevin Akoguma, who recently switched allegiances from Belgium and Germany, respectively, to represent Nigeria. I mean, what are your thoughts on these two brilliant players from the diaspora deciding to represent Nigeria? And I remember at, at the Under-20 World Cup, uh, when I saw Kevin... Uh, Poguma, he captained the, the Dutch, uh, I mean the German, I beg your pardon, the German on the 20s. And he was shaking Musa Mohammed's hand at that point. I don't know if you guys have the graphics. But, um, you know, it, was, it felt very strange. I actually tracked him since 2013 hmm. when John Obu was preparing his under-20 team. Uh, I did a bit of sc uh, scouting for the NFF at that point, um, you know. But unfortunately, he decided to play for Germany. Now he's here with us. Uh, very good defender. He's about six foot three a day, about big, strong lad. A great Bundesliga experience. And like you rightly said, he's also captained and played for the German uh, junior team. So I, I really want to see how he's going to play for the Super Eagles. For Cyril Dessers, I mean, last season he was joint top scorer at Dutch League. Um, fantastic player. Um, he's something like a Victor or Sim Hen, but not as tall, uh, you know. But he, his hold-up play is really, really good. Um, you know, he can score goals. He's a fox in the box. And apart from that, he's got some great sprint in him too. So it's going to be, uh, of course, evidently, all of us know Victor. 
is the number one striker for Nigeria. But I really love to see what Dessas can do too. He's also been a gang together with uh, Paul Onoachu. Even though he hasn't gotten a few uh, minutes like Onoachu has done, but he's a very, very good striker. And I'm just um, 24, 25 years, he's got a lot to give to the Super Eagles. So like I earlier said, uh, I mean, I can't wait to see how all of this will pan out for the debutants. Very good players in their own right. I'm playing for very good clubs. And hopefully they will do the, I mean, they translate into the same for the Super Eagles. All right. Now, I take you back to our last encounter against the Desert Foxes. That was the semi-final of the 2019 AFCON tournament. And obviously, we lost yeah, due yeah. to that uh, yeah, Riyad Mahrez deadly <laughs> free kick. Now, what are your thoughts on tonight's yeah. fixture? What do you think it will be? Is it going to be a night of retribution for Nigeria? Or are we going to see another upset? Uh, I don't know what you mean by upset. Um, of course, evidently, Algeria are, are the number one team, more or less, in Africa, even though we know they're not, uh, based on the FIFA ranking, they're not there. But they're the African champions, so we have to give them that respect. Um, you know, that Mares free kick broke my heart. I'm not going to lie about <laughs> it. Uh, but, I mean, it's not revenge. Geno Ross said himself, it's not like a revenge type game. He just wants to see how his players will play um, against, the, uh, you know, arguably the best team on the continent. And they see how these players can adapt to it. So it, it, we are not going to go into this game with a revenge uh, type mindset. We're just going to go there to see how we're going to test players and see how prepared we are for the uh, Nations Cup friendly against Sierra Leone uh, next month. So for me, um, like I said, Algeria and Nigeria have some very skillful players. Uh, Riyad Mahrez, uh, Baramha from Brentford in the championship. Uh, they've got a lot of players. Slemani, uh, you know, and the rest of Boli, the goalkeeper too. So I'm hoping to see a very exciting game. I do not know if there are going to be many goals, but I sure do know there are going to be some exciting moments in the game. All right. Then you did, you did say that you don't know if there are going to be so many goals, but then I need you to just give a quick prediction. What are your thoughts? Nigeria versus Algeria. 2-1 uh, win, Nigeria. Uh, the goals will be by Simon Moses and Simon Chukweze. I'm uh, not a betting person. I'm not a punter, but I think Nigeria will win 2-1. All right, there you heard it here first from Andrew Randa. Nigeria winning tonight 2-1 against Algeria with Samuel Kalu and Samuel Chukwese with the goals. Mm -hmm.